Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to use the 4 operator in ABAP. The 4 operator allows us to write loops in a very elegant and efficient way. Instead of using multiple lines of code, we can use 4 to create compact and readable loops. Today I use the table S flight and for my example I select the records from the database table S flight into an internal table. And today I use the column price. I want to pick only the records where the price is lower than 300. So the old way was to write the loop at LTS flight into the structure of this table S flight where the price is lower than 300. Then I close the loop and then I append the structure S flight where the condition is true to the table to the internal table LTS flight 2. So now I declare the second internal table at the structure and then I want to display the, the records. So for this I use the class CL demo output write data and then the, the display method. Okay, so let's activate the code and run the program and we see these are the records where the price is lower than 300. Okay, so how to do this with the for loop? I have already declared another internal table LTS flight 3. So then I write here LTS flight 3 is value hashtag or LSS flight Two. So this is another structure and in, uh, inline declaration. So I can't use the structure LSS flight here. Then I do the loop over the internal table LTS flight where the price is lower than 300. And what I want to do now is I write here the structure LSS flight 2 and I append this to the internal table LT as right three. So let's display this and compare these two internal tables. We see the records are the same. Okay. Next, um, yeah, we can do the, the conditions if we have more complicated uh, computations or uh, constructions, we can use here an if statement as well. It's the same, we see the records, the results are the same. Okay. So let's do another thing. We can uh, create a string table with a few lines of code. For example, I declare here an internal string table of type string table. Then I write here LT string value hashtag. Then I use a counter start with one, then I increase the counter until the counter is greater than or greater 10. And what I want to do is I write every loop a string with the value of the counter. So we see we need here only two lines of code. And now let's display this string table. Yes, we see here count one to count 10. It's as you can see, the for operator requires slightly fewer lines of code. The new notation takes some getting used to, but is also easy to learn, but uh, everyone can decide that for themselves. Yes, in the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.